Hello everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech. I think we have enough money now because I did a little bit of a spring cleaning. And that means we can, first of all, upgrade the Argo a little bit because I want to upgrade my drop tonnage. And on top of that, I'd say we're gonna rebuild some of our mechs or repair some of our mechs because I um, accidentally blow up a supercharger. That might have been. No, not a supercharger. It was a mask. But anyway, back to the back to the mech bay here. Back to the drawing board. Uh, actually, no, wait. We have to actually repair them first. So, here we go. There comes the people out of fatigue. There is uh, Strider and Adrenaline still in it. But again, we have to do a little bit of repair and, and refit. Since we have taken this mech here. That now has some violations because I wanted to check the ammo swap out. It is not possible to swap ammo in this mech. It's not there anymore. Ammo swap on the BFG. That's what I mean. That's not a thing anymore. Man, I'm really having problems art articulating myself today. I'm sorry, guys. Let's put another bit of LRM ammo here. And I think we also had a laser AMS, right? Something like that. So let's bring that in here. It was a clan laser AMS that we put here on the arm. Absolutely. Okay, two bins of regular ammo, two bins of hydras. One bin of dead fire. That has to suffice. Or do we even go for more hydra? Nah, yes, no, maybe. Maybe we do that. I'm thinking about another bin of hydra and we have it, so might as well take it. So, here we go. If we have, we could also take max shot or anything. No, we don't. But it's okay. So... Our railgun now has regular railgun ammo again and no, uh, none of the other things that wear Gauss ammos. Man, my brain is kind of weird today. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. So, we're gonna repair the legs here. The mask had a bit of a problem last time. Oops. And um, we are still looking for jump boosters. We are still looking for things that make our Proteus faster. That's definitely a thing that we need to check. Okay, but other than that, I would say we're gonna wait one day. There we go. Let's do the private screening. We get the morale increased by five with that. It's really good. And then I would say we're gonna play one more mission before we go for another check for a super heavy mission. Yeah, I need to probably do that. Let's get some more money. Let's get some more money, guys. And speaking of, we could capture that base and take a good chunk of it. Oh, we could take that escort as well, but escorts take forever. I don't like escorts because the time investment is huge. Or we could play a, a quick battle, like a very quick battle. Yeah, let's go with the four skulls here. We get good money, we get good salvage. We're gonna try to destroy these enemies as quickly as possible. And since it's only four skulls, I don't think that they're gonna bring all of the like super good stuff here. And you know what? Maybe with a bit of luck we find some faster mechs and some of them might even have these mechanical jump jets that I'm looking for for so long already. So let's check it out guys. Let's go. I'm also not happy with the builds that I have right now. I mean they're kind of working. Don't get me wrong. They, this, is a, this is a lance that works. It's a double lance even. And we have one more working mech and two more that are in the making that we could also utilize. But uh, that's what I'm talking about. We could utilize these assault mechs, I think, more than our heavy mechs right now. The heavies only have the benefit of being just a little bit faster. But I think in the end it comes all down to how much damage can we apply to our enemies? How much ammo can we carry around? Because that's obviously uh, one of the bottlenecks that we have. I think we are kind of on the edge when it comes to ammunition consumption. Uh, you could really see that in the mission that we were playing with uh, the, or against the Super Heavy. Um, I was really conserving ammo there because I had to. And that tells me that we need more tonnage on the battlefield. With more weapons, more ammo, more everything. More kill potential. Hm. <laughs> That's a behemoth. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna eat that. That's a Rock 5, I think. For all the armor. A heavy Rock 5 on something. Sure. Alright, Behemoth, do your thing. Or maybe don't? Yeah, go and look at the wall in shame, because we are here to kill you now. It is a shame that we only negotiated for two. There wasn't anything higher that we could have done. For but that Behemoth is actually quite interesting. Holding firm. Uh, okay. Let's do it, guys. Got it. 
Let's move forward. That was the Rug 5 that was on the Victor. But I want to go for... Oh, EMP. Yeah, let's go for it. All right, we got Plasma. We got a bit of EMP. We have him head hit for some reason that I don't understand. Oh, wow. Actually, we just hit him. That's Confirmed. interesting. That's very interesting. Aye, aye, skipper. Uh, this one here is definitely acid, 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 and then the ultra auto cannon afterwards. I want to destroy that big door, and that's what we do. Reporting. This is gonna be a fast mission. There's n no reinforcement, no support, nothing. Pretty good. Also, uh, AMS was coming from the side here. What's up, boss? Let's check it out. Got it. Maybe we can no get line of sight. No, we don't. Question is, do I care about that thing? I think I don't, actually. Let's go with that fire. Yeah, let's kill. That's what we do. I'm, on the I'm just here for the destruction. Oh, and that's a back shot. Mm, could have done that earlier. And, um... Let's make some no, actually, I could also push forward here. See, the Black Knight is a target that I could shoot. Yeah, let's go for the back shot, though. It's way more efficient than grinding through his side there. Although, I gotta say, it didn't... Ooh, it didn't quite work. Ah, and maybe there are more reinforcements. However, that was the fourth mech that shot. It could also be just the fourth mech. Now, that is interesting in a way that, where I'm saying we might want to go ahead and try to just knock him down now. And then try to go for a headshot with the BFG or something. And these behemoths. They are so sturdy. I think they are running kind of hardened armor and, and uh, damage reduction stuff and stuff. Look at that. That's 400 armor plates. 400 on an arm. 580 on the center torso. Waiting for orders. Holy macaroni. Enhanced imaging. Let's go. I need a hit chance. That's a hit chance. Let's do no it. On my way. And please hit the cockpit. Do it! Do it now! Alright, side torso. But still, we didn't kill that guy. Punched out though. Yep. It's the worst. <laughs> you know why? <laughs> because I now have no idea what I'm gonna salvage. <laughs> that is so unreal. Oh man. I'm gonna be so, so sad. Okay, try to keep that guy at bay. Let's go for, for the hot seat, supercharger, all of that on. I wanna bring my melee mech to the front line. Oh man, there's a behemoth, a full behemoth. Okay, let's shoot him. No, we hit them in the head! Oh, so bad. I wanted to destroy that mag so that the loot table is smaller. Oh no. Ready for orders. That's bad. Oh god, what a freaking mission here. What is that in the back there? It's a marauder too. Got it, understood. Uh MRM incendiary. Hydra. Hydra. No, wait. Yeah, yeah, it's Hydra here. Let's go. This is a hot shot flamer. Interesting. What are your orders, Skipper? Okay. Roger, Skipper. Taking it. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy in the back. I mean, I'm in now for some special shenanigans. Trying to destroy as much... Oh my god, the rockets. Uh, as much as possible on these dudes in the back. And in the front and everywhere. Also, these rockets need to be shut down before they do anything bad. Acknowledged. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's go Hydra. Let's go Warlord and Hydra. Maybe we shoot him with the BFG as well. No, the BFG missed. Try to overheat. What do you need? He's scary. Affirmative. Okay, let's do it. This guy can really mess you up. Alrighty, so mayhem. What do you want? I think you know what? Mayhem is pushing even further. Uh, this guy is overheating already, so we're gonna go for even more on that guy. Siendaries, all in. All in with Warlord. 100%. I need to shut him down, because he has so much, 
so much damage potential that just cost me a million sea bills to repair. Cool, I overheated. Nice. I've got good, good, good. That brings me to Punish Ur. Punish Ur has the ability to shoot a side torso. I yes, the side torso. Oh god. That was an engine crit destruction. That wasn't the component destruction. <laughs> yeah, Commander. <laughs> no. What is going on here? I'm doing the opposite of what I want, actually. I'm actually preserving stuff instead of destroying it like a boss. On it. Fine. Okay, it's his turn. He is shutting down. Okay, give me, give me, give me, I don't know, somebody. First of all, Artemis. To the side torso, yet again. Do it! That's good, that's exactly what I wanted. So, this is no salvage anymore, but he's punching out, of course. Yes, of course he would punch out. Why? Is, today is opposite day. Today is the day where I'm like, yeah, I, I kind of want to destroy everything and just be quick with it and, and get my loot from the mech that I already have there. And then they're like, yeah, have that Black Knight and have this Marauder 2 on top of that. And what? No. Good, good fast mission though. I'm not complaining, guys. We get experience, we get money. Oh man, the question is, do we want the behemoth? Look at all of this, this is so, so absurd. Hmm. We could. It's another king crab, we're gonna collect them all, you know? It's a 7 ton combat shield. Oh. Negative 14% damage taken, and we gain bulwark. I wonder how much I can carry. 14% damage reduction and bulwark is amazing, guys. Take it. It's, it's a double XL. There's the boost. There's the jump booster. Okay, cool. Guys, that is it. Oh, yeah. I like it. So, screw the behemoth. I don't need it. We get none of the parts randomly, sadly. Uh, but we get a Marauder 2 part, we get a Victor part, we get a PPC, a Rock 5, a Light Engine, Hardened Armor, and the Jump Booster, and the 7 ton Combat Shield. I wanna see what we can do with it. I might, and bear with me guys, I know that you like the Combat Shotgun, I might wanna drop that, because it gives our Atlas so much more defense. It's gonna be really good, guys. Let's check it out. I have the feeling that our Atlas is always getting hit, because it's obviously the frontliner, and, um, you know... Sometimes the enemies are getting uh, or going with the rule of proximity. And that is shooting the guy that is just in, fa in front of your face. And then having that 14% damage reduction and bulwark, which gives us additional 20% when we are guarded, which happens whenever we punch somebody because of Juggernaut, is amazing. So I like that more than the shotgun. Dealing a little less damage is fine. And the jump jet booster 3 is amazing, guys. That's gonna be really helpful for the King Crab, for our mm, behemoth. Alright. The question is, can we carry it? Because that might be a thing that we are not able to do. Um. So that's our BFG, correct? Yeah. What we also need is improved assault jump jets. And then I would probably drop one LRM. So that we can actually cram everything in here. This flare is gonna get removed. And we're gonna add the jump pack booster. Bam! Very good. And we have one improved. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. One is not enough. Can we get something from the store? If if so, I'm gonna take that thing. Uh, we got yeah uh, improved heavy jump jets here. That's not enough. It's not enough, guys, sadly. Uh, but we got three jump capacity already. I mean, I could just take regular jump jets. They give us plus one jump jet capacity. This is this is 1.1. 1. 1. 
Just a bit more. Just a bit more. I think we're gonna take the regular ones. And I also think I'm gonna drop one of the LRMs. I think it has to be actually the LRM 20 that we have to drop here. Ooh, oh, that's not so good. But the jumps need to be made. How do I lower my weight? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I want to keep the 20. Maybe this is how we say goodbye. I guess so. So we'll take that here. With that Hydra. Actually, do we need that much Hydra now that we only have 40 missiles? Keep it. And yes, I know. I'm I'm doing it in an asymmetrical way. And I know that some people are getting triggered of it. Imagine that. The King Crab here only having jump jets on one side and is always spiraling around because of it. <laughs> but I think this is the way to go. So, uh, two here. This jump jet pack gets uh, one of the slots. We cannot do anything about it, but that's okay. And now this mech is actually mobile. We can actually do something. We get more mobility. How many hexes can we jump? Five. Perfect. Yeah, that's more than, more than we could ever sprint. That's really good. And what about heat management? I mean, I could drop the proto double. You could drop the laser AMS. You see where I'm going with that, right? Still two more tons. <laughs> How do we squeeze two tons into this mech? Or out of it? I could drop the active pro, but it's an actual good thing to have. Is the turret mount needed? I mean, this BFG extends to this turret mount here. I think the accuracy might affect it. Because it's there. Maybe it's just here, because that's like the, the colored one. This is just the, uh, I don't know, secondary. I don't know. I, I, I cannot tell you guys. In terms of railgun ammo, I think we need this exact number. So, cannot do it. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. 60 missiles is what we have. Let's count missiles here. We have 60 tubes when we are shooting all of that. This is 120 shots, right? Yeah, so we have two alpha strikes per bin of ammo. That's one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. That's 10 alpha strikes, so we are just on the edge. We'll take the 20 out. That's how we do it. Now, in terms of heat management, we are absolutely fine. We don't need anything. I could even think about, since we have that, we, since we have the, the heat management, I could think about adding some lasers so that we can actually soak up the extra, the, the extra heat management here. What about ooh, clan improved heavies? They have 40 damage for 21, yeah, that's too much heat. Uh, I'm thinking about medium laser bright bloom. Bright bloom are the extended range ones, yeah. They're decent. Or clan medium lasers. They also have great range. 30 damage for 20 heat at 500 meters. This is 30 damage for 15 heat at 600 meters. This is better than a clan laser. Wow, it's crazy. Uh, we have medium VSPL. That's too much. Definitely too much. The other option would be... Oh, yeah. Maybe we are going this this path. And I think it's the better one. Um, we're gonna try to find another Mark II AMS. Um, it's the Mark II, though. I want an advanced one. Damn. I mean, a Mark II is better than nothing. It also protects friendlies. Let's go with that. And the laser AMS. And another laser AMS. And then we could drop one ton of ammo, I think. Because for that AMS we also need um, ammunition. Or we just go for triple clan laser AMS. Just protect the mech. You know what? That's how we do it. Why not? Yeah, that, that looks good. That looks really good. 
<laughs> Alrighty, guys. We have a mech that is okay in terms of heat management. We drop a little bit of firepower, but we get way more mobility. And I think this is more important. Getting that BFG actually in a position where it can fire all the time. Okay. And now I forgot what else I wanted to do. It was something I had in mind where I'm like, yeah, you were. Oh, yeah, the combat shield. The combat shield. I didn't forget. I remembered. But we have to wait for the Atlas to come back online. All right. So here it is. Let's go back to the mech bay and see what we can do with the combat shield. I think it might be too heavy, honestly. I think we have like 12 tons that we can carry. Oh, no, it's 20 tons. Never mind. We have 6 tons on the hatchet. That's, that's how we do it. I know we are giving up a good chunk of damage here. But it is worth it. Absolutely. Let's get the defense online. Bam! Combat shield. 7 tons. 14% damage reduction. Uh, we have less jump distance. But that's okay. We are using the supercharger and the hot seat cockpit most of the time anyway. And we have a hatchet. That could also be upgraded by additional 7 tons. We have that here. I mean, we could go for, yeah, double 10 tons. So if we find a 10 ton hatchet, we should probably take it so that our melee damage is upgraded again. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's, it's getting down a bit, but I think it's okay. And if it doesn't work, we're gonna come back to the combat shotgun. So let's do the test. Also, 5 million sea pills are getting get reduced by 2.8. Can I put that down to... Yeah, it could probably, right? Ah, it's still the same. Because we have it in our Argo storage. Okay. So I hope for a super heavy mission. So work order is complete. We still have 2 mil, which is great. Because the next financial report is safe. Um, people are in fatigue. Okay. Let's check it out, guys. Um... There's a solo duel that we can play. There's a battle in the lowlands. Coupé, that's also good. Mm, and then attack and defend. Oh, man. That is that is tragic, guys. We don't get a super heavy mission here. But I want to play a taste for war. And I want to bring... That's a good chunk of money. I'll take the one. Uh, I'm going to take my atlas. I'm going to check this out. And uh, not the King Crab, although the BFG could also be very interesting. But no, I want this dude, and I want, obviously, Strider. And I want to see what our new combat shield can do, and how much damage we are actually doing now that we have um, lost the combat shotgun. So, say goodbye to the combat shotgun. You will be missed. But I think the shield is better. So the flat damage reduction and the 20% with the Bulwark on top of that are... Yeah... 34% more damage reduction, and uh, in most of the times it means that we can play it actually a bit more aggressively. We can stay in the fights longer, we can actually make maneuvers where I actually bring that Atlas to the front line, and then have that uh, Warfare Suite that has the um, the accuracy, negative accuracy debuff for the enemies online for longer. We could just be more aggressive and then be more defensive at the same time. So I think... This overall not only helps the Atlas, but it helps the team as a whole. And it's a good combo piece to actually put into. But this is a duel, and we're gonna take that. Here we go, Commander. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna jump and brace that. Since we have that now. Okay. Oh, I see an Atlas. What? Wow, did you see how he jumped? He was like... Lifting his arms while he was jumping. Oh, Avenger Rifle, Medium VSPL, Heavy MRM and the Streak. That's a Baba Yaga. No, wait, what? Is there another Atlas that is also running Avenger Rifles? That is interesting. Jump and brace. All right, cool. Oh, it's Baba Yaga. Yeah, exactly. So, Baba, I'm gonna hot seat. I'm gonna supercharge. And 
I'm not quite in range. Uh, okay. I guess I have to get close then. Jumping. But now we have all of that. That is such a great damage reduction. Don't jump! Uh, he's jumping away! But we have now 60% and then 14% on top of that thanks to our shield. So that is 74% damage reduction. Alright, and here we go. Our base damage is now 500. That's 700 if he berserked, but in most cases it should still be good enough. Kick him! And face plant. Alright, good job, Commander. These missions are so easy and you get so much money out of that. I think we just got one and a half million sea bills and one pick from that Baba. That's good. That's really good. What do we take, though? It's not the mech part. I'm not a too big of a fan of the Baba there. Um, because um, it is very, very fixed in what it does. Oh, 700,000. I'm sorry. We got 700,000. Still good enough. I mean, there are three improved jump jets. Do we take them? I'll take them. Okay, we get the Baba part, we get a hot seat cockpit. It's not the improved hot seat though. No, it's a regular one, but it's still a good one. And then uh, streak ammo. Cool, good mission. Easy. I like that. I like easy. That's good. Uh, sometimes I like a challenge, but easy is good for, you know, playing some missions in between and, and getting some good stuff and having enough money for the next reports. Also, I also want that behemoth online. Not the behemoth. No, the, the what's it called? Pirate king crab. Kraken? Juggernaut? Oh god, these things. Too many names, guys. There's just too many names in this game. But you know what I mean, the ballistic one. We are about to build a Rack 10 build as well. So, two days of repair, a bit of recovery. Sure. That's fine. And... Um, I think I want these improved jump jets. If I have these improved jump jets available now, I'm gonna put them into the mech. That's two more taunts that we have to drop, sadly. But I think they are going to be worth it. Maybe. Hopefully. So, we had five. Um, five jump capacity with the other jump jets here. Okay. They take two slot. And this is now... It's still five hexes. So I think you have to have a little bit more than two so that it makes a difference. Um, let me check something real quick. What is... We need additional slots. Oh, yeah. Why do we have four all of a sudden? That's weird. That's like super weird. Wait, what? Give me a second. We, we were having three beforehand. How much do we get out of this? This is six hexes jump now. This is insane, guys. Do we just make room for two more tons and are fine with it? This is so weird. But now it's saying three again. Wait a second. Plus 1.5. Oh, 1.5 maximum amount of jump jet allowed. Ah, the more you get, the more you can put into the mag. Oh, that is interesting. But they take a lot of tonnage. I think I'm fine with my five jump then. Okay. I know! Now I know how this is working. So the more you the more of them you get, the more of them you can put into the mech. That's 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 cool. Yeah, very interesting idea. But for the moment, we're gonna wait for Strider to come back. There we go. Because we need to play another mission. We are not done yet today, guys. Stop it here! What? I was clicking that button. Oh, okay. What do we play? Not that. 
Oh wait, it's attack and defend in the highlands. I mean, that's something. Destroy base and lowlands, battle in lowlands, battle in lowlands. I probably play a battle here. Badlands seems good. Oh yeah, let's play in the Badlands. Let's go hard. And we get the two salvage and a lot of money. So, here we go. Ashless is there. Here is the King Crab number one, King Crab number two, Proteus. Holy crap. And then we have the Stone Rhino, the Black Knight, the Anand, and then these guys. And now we have too much tonnage, which means one of our King Crabs, probably the Rack one, is gonna be replaced with something else. With a mad dog. Alright. So, this is the Plasma Dude. Plasma Dude needs... Um, just somebody. Should we train some other people now? I think that's a good idea. I like that idea. So, Gremlin is gonna go on the crab. And then we have the Stone Rhino, where we can put anybody. Let's bring you. Okay. That, and then... No, 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 not Rain. I still want Punisher maxed out. And then we're gonna take Yuki Ona here. Okay. So we have another rookie on the Stone Rhino that can just shoot artillery everywhere. Let's see what our jump capacity is like now. Oof, jump jets. You have to have four of them, though, to make them work. Oh, let's say three of them. Three of them and a jump booster. Um... See, currently on the other King Crab, we are running a mask, which is not really giving us that big of an impact. But we have a jump booster, jump booster two. Three jump jets on top of that is five. That means we can also jump five uh, hexes with the King Crab if we take out the mask. The mask is, I think, five tons, and these jump jets are six tons in total. But they also take a good chunk of slots. Six slots. Uh, we need to check that out, guys. It might be that we are dropping the mask and adding more improved jump jet boosters. And that is how we're gonna make the make fast then. Cool. I like it. So, especially the king crabs, they need to be able to, uh, to maneuver. No. I know what we're gonna be doing. It's a similar idea. But I'm not using this rock king crab for... A, uh, I was not using that rock king crab for a while. Because it wasn't able to get into good positions. We'll take that thing. Or even better, the new King Crab that is running the Rock Tens then. Yeah. That's that's a good idea. Alright. We have no idea where the enemies are. I mean we have a rough idea. But there's all there also might be reinforcements here, there might be support lances, so we're gonna try to find them. And we found them. Hello Victor! Oh, hello Hitotsumi. It's a 118 melee mech with a heavy PPC. I think can wreck us. So... I think we're gonna jump and brace here. Confirmed. Okay. This guy is running Hydras. Yeah, it is the Proteus now, and this is our jump capacity. That's very solid. Absolutely. Um, but since we have Hydras, I think I'm gonna attack the ground first, and you know what? I'll do it like this. Not with the BFG. Take that! Feel the heat! And then we're actually gonna jump around. Engaging jump jet. Alright, fine. So, more of these please. Thank you for the Hydras. Here we go. Also attacking the ground right between them. Now let's see how you handle this. I hope it has an impact on them. I really hope so. The Hitotsume also got some heat already, but we don't see the Victor. Okay. You need me to hold still for you? Fine, we go over here. Ten four. Uh yeah, the good thing is we have more hydras. The bad thing is we are kind of twisted in, in a very weird way. I don't think that we can shoot here. Nope. Maybe just the Victor? Also not. Okay, so Stone Rhino is gonna move forward. Then, uh, improved MRMs. Go down here. Oh, the Anand cannot move after shooting, right? No, we can do that. Okay, cool. 
So more Hydras. In, in, in this direction, okay. Oh, no weapon can fire either. Ah, we are twisted. Oh, wait, wait, maybe. Maybe if we do it like this. No, okay, so we cannot do it. Let's go into cover then. I'm Let's moving. do it. Alright. Next. Everybody has Hydras, so everybody can fire. No weapon can fire? Are you kidding me? Dude, you're twisted in like that. You should be able to. Oh, alright. That's rough. But okay, I mean, we have the active turn now. Oh, wow, and we have four lances to destroy. So, buckle up for a rough ride. It's gonna be interesting. It's so weird only having two weapons here. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Oh, and we have reinforcements! Uh... Okay. Combat shield for the win. Dudes, we have to kill so fast here. Cascatel, oh my god. Uh, there's a Lament. A Ballista, Sniper Artillery. A Vulture, Mark II. Thumper, Owens. Boar's Head. That's the Atlas Hero. Packleg, uh, uh, it's a thing. Fafnir, S7. So it's the Solaris variant. Oh no. Yeah, these mortars are gonna tear us apart. Hmm. Commander. These guys still have spawn protection, so I cannot do anything here. Not with Poet at the very least. Standing by. Uh. Alright. Let's see what we can do. This guy is scary. I will drop Hydra specifically on his head here. Alright, trying to overheat him somehow. We might have done him a favor and activated his TSM now, but let's see. Maybe he's shutting down. Maybe he is not doing anything. Uh, at the very least, we probably have his movement impaired by the heat. Okay, turn 22. There was something next to the Fafni that I didn't see. What was that? A Fulcrum. Alright, that's doable. Very much manageable. You never know if there's reinforcements or not, and you never know how many support vents they have. This is so... It makes it interesting, I gotta say. Aye, aye. And now we have to wait. We have to give them the, the full first round. And our Atlas is just soaking it up. Punisher? Can I help? Okay. Yeah, I'll bring the Anand a bit to the front so that we have a secondary target on the board. And as I was saying, I want the uh, Victor also overheated. He's running a long freaking Tom. Are you kidding me? Alright, this is Warlord. This is Incendiary and Hydras and all of that. This guy has a long Tom. Yeah, no. <laughs> Not gonna happen. So the main impact here was the Victor, which is great. And the secondary impact was the, Hit was the Hitotsume. Which also got a little bit of heat from that. So, turn 21. Boom. No boom, but also no shooty. Mm hmm. And this is where our Atlas is almost getting unsteady. Uh, don't, don't, don't you dare. Oh, it's fine. Okay, turn 20. Receiving you. So, Strider has to do something now. Um,. What's it gonna be? Punching this guy. That's an option. But then we had very little in uh, very little evasion. Ah oh, crap. I am a little a bit afraid here. 600 damage enough? I think it's a medium mech. No wait. Yeah, it's a medium mech, but it has decent armor. I gotta berserk this then. Uh yeah, we hope for the best. We only get two evasion out of that, but afterwards. Or, wait, if we go here, we'd be open in this direction. No, that's not good. Afterwards, we will be guarded, and that is good. So let's go with melee. On the move. Lockdown, and we have the bulwark from the combat shield. Hostile 
Man, I'm missing the combat shotgun already. Making that blam after we punch them. These seem to be like thermal bolts. Maybe. I don't know. But thunderbolt missiles definitely. Yeah, I mean... Uh, where's the next target? Cascatel, which I hate. The ballista didn't do anything. I need to split up now. Somehow. Okay, it's enhanced imaging. And then we're gonna sprint. So what can we do against this Victor? I think shooting him like crazy is a good idea. Or we are trying to kind of overheat the boar's head or the vulture. Because that is possible. I'm gonna do that. Because the Victor is already hot. And we have some other people who can shoot him. And this Vulture has some indirect firing uh, MMLs and, and ACs. And Vultures in general don't have the uh, the best heat management ever. Can you please stop that artillery stuff? I'm showing minor damage. We are unsteady. Yeah, not cool. Standing by. That is that is so bad, guys. That is so so bad. Uh, crap. Not cool. Is that worth it? 60%? This is a Cascatel with a long tom. I think it is. Fingers crossed, guys. Aye, aye. We got him. EFG, baby! Reporting. One less vehicle. <laughs> Alright, and then we're gonna move forward. Forward for the reason that I want to give them secondary targets. It's gonna be so important here. I don't want my Atlas to be knocked down. Oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Enhanced imaging, let's go. Ah! Scared! But this Victor is probably gonna be my next target. Come on, move it. Sprinting in. Oh man, we don't really have a hit chance here. It's my only target. Uh, okay, we are dealing some heat damage. Fine, fine. Bam. Right, he's stressed. That's good, and we don't have to shoot him this round anymore. Wow, this is so crazy. Light damage to me. They are just reckless with the artillery. I was really hoping that standing next to that guy would help me, but it doesn't. Uh oh. Good to go. Anyway, more stuff coming up now. And I mean, we are shooting indirectly, so let me take a look at the options that we have. There's another Ballista. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna take that sniper artillery down. An option, though. Chaparral has an arrow, but I think the Chaparral is... counterable? There's a Thumper. Not really in range. Uh, the, oh, the Lament is also a thing. What's the hit chance on the Lament? It's garbage. Improved heavy lasers and four of them. Crazy. There's another Thumper. Also not really good. I think... Yeah, we will go for the... Other tank. That's what we can do. It's all the artillery here. So acid, acid. Guide it, guide it. And then standard ammo. And let's go. I'm gonna leave my missile, uh, sorry, sensor lock. That's the thing that I wanna um, keep for later when it's really Boring necessary. Hey, it's the Fafnir. Triple PPCs. I have no idea what that I'm thing sure brings to the table, damage. but it sounds dangerous. It's a yeah, Solaris major. special refit, so hmm, it could be anything. It's good. Let's go. Mm -hmm. It's um, definitely acid here. Try to destroy that thing now. Or at the very least, heat him up and he is also panicked. No. Oh. Hold it! Just duck behind your combat shield and brace! Ah, oh, turn 19 is not good. 19 is 
no, we need like 22 or something to be safe. I think this is not gonna be enough. But hey, we have some other people here. Maybe they can push forward and attract fire somehow. But that's an Owens. That's our AMS. Triggered by only an MML5 or so. What's coming? Don't knock my Atlas! I need that thing. I mean, it has a lot of armor. But still. I don't like pilot injuries and so on. Um, sure. Oh, there's one thing I can try here. First of all, what's the chance? It's garbage, okay. If we destroy this Victor now, then we might, um... They might not have the Atlas as their main target anymore because they don't have the line of sight bonus from the Victor. Let's go for it. Still there? No, he's punching out. Okay, cool. So I hope that helped. I really hope that helped. Still there? Turn 22. Waiting for orders. Calling ass. Anything that I can overheat, anything that I can take care of before it does anything bad. Thumpers have a lot of armor, so there's no chance. It's peg leg. No, it's also not killable, I think. Warset, fine. Owens, no. The Lament needs a bit of overheating. Fulcrum needs killing. The Fafnir. Mm -mm. Yeah, I guess there is nothing really we can do. And for that reason, I'm gonna... Is he standing in the water? I think he's not. I'm gonna go for the Lament. And try to overheat it. Because if he's coming in with his lasers there, we're gonna die. There's the Fulcrum. Leave my Atlas, Fulcrum. Thank you. Oh, and the Fulcrum coming closer is actually pretty good because now they have vision to all of these guys in the back and I hope they, they will prioritize them. Ah, this is it now. Good night, Atlas. Sleep well. FML. Yeah. FML. I agree. Did you get injured by that? You did not. That's good. So we didn't lose that much initiative. But, you know, she's on the ground. She's an easy target now. I've got your back. Ooh, 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 ooh. What actually did shoot us there? It was this guy here. The pack leg marksman. Yeah. I'm switching targets, I just realized. I had some heat on this guy. Uh, probably follow up on that. But now I have the lament. Yeah, let's keep him as a target. So I will also follow up with my artillery piece. Ooh, that's good. They didn't go for the Atlas. You need more practice. Maybe because it's on the ground now, it has a lower signature? Yep. Could be. Affirmative. Right, we move up here. Um, we're pretty close to this guy. We only have Hydra though, okay. We have enough heat on a Lament already. Um, and with the artillery mech coming after... Um, we're gonna be... Uh, yeah, we're gonna be fine. Especially since the Inferno artillery ammo, it lingers a little bit longer. Which means that we're gonna keep him as he is right now. Cool, they're taking the Anand as a target. That's perfect. Right. Alright, next. Standing by. As I was saying, artillery mech, do your thing, get some damage in. Chronos, Chronos, and that's Hydra, and EMP. And this is where we sensor lock now, yeah. Okay. Bam. So that we actually have a hit chance. Ah, that's an okay one. I just hope that I have enough EMP so that he doesn't cool down. Woo! Alright. Turn 19. Now it's 18. Yeah. 
So, here comes the king crab again. Hmm. I don't want to generate any stability problems here. So, I'm going to activate mask. Is this our sprint? Really? That's the whole deal? Seems like mask doesn't do anything even. No, something is wrong. Okay, I guess we jump then. Mm, okay. We'll jump. And I want to see what we can actually fire. Thumper artillery. Again, these guys are so, so, so sturdy. The fulcrum is also pretty sturdy. Hmm. I guess we shoot the chaparral in the back. That's what we do. And I'm gonna... Probably just warlord that. <laughs> Let's try. Nice! We almost destroyed it, so that's... Ready for orders. That's an option for a kill, yeah. It's good. What about... Fulcrum? No. Bumper artillery? No. Pack leg? No. We have a very good hit chance on these Hydras here. Actually quite interesting. Yeah, I'm not gonna do anything here. I'm gonna... Mm, jump another time here. They have to. And then we follow up on what we just did, I guess. Or we shoot something that we can actually hit. I really want to shoot the BFG, you know? Next round is definitely a move round. Maybe I should also not really go for that much um, stability here, because we saw what happened to the Atlas earlier. This thing is filled with Hydras, I'm gonna go for it. We hit the BFG with 16%! Wow! Nice. That gives us inspiration. Cool. Another one bites the dust. Strider, stand up! Thank you. Good. I need you to actually get over there on the high ground. Alrighty. I'm up again. Uh, this is not enough, I think. Sprinting would be an option now. And I think it is. You know what? We, we have Vigilance. We'll take that. And I need... I definitely need line of sight here. I need her to be on the front line. Okay. That also gives us the Warfare Suite. It's a minefield on the way. Alright. Let's, Let's go in here. Okay. And then we have that EWS ping that we can make happen. We are already guarded, so that's good. So, here comes Atlas. The problem is that the boar's head has medium pulse lasers and these ignore evasion and um, that's gonna hurt a bit. But I think the damage reduction should be fine. And if they dare to shoot us here with artillery, they also hit their friends a big time. Hellstorm artillery. Mm-hmm. Nasty thing. I still wonder what the Fafnir is bringing there, I have no idea. But yeah, next round on this end is gonna be a walk round. Ooh. Good to go. Okay. I'm in. Give me the kill on the Atlas. Come on, come on, come on. And we got it. Right, that's very nice. We only got three evasion out of here, but it uh, might be it might be enough. Also, 23 landmines. That's actually quite nasty. Our legs are not looking great anymore. Oh god, let's see. That's a very tough mission. But I think it's fair after we got these easy ones. Barrage incoming. Oh, there's an arrow coming down. The damage is light. Okay. Okay. Is that a good idea to stand in your own barrage? Maybe not. But I hope that the vulture is shutting down so that it's also standing there at the end of the turn. That's gonna be good. What's the hunchback? Oh, the hunchback is also running a thumper. These guys are so artillery heavy. But now I know how it feels being on the other side, or on the other end of it. Because I am just shooting all of my mortars and infernos all the time. And uh, these enemies couldn't really react. But now I realize that 
This is how it feels when you're getting shot by enemies that you cannot see and that are just constantly dropping damage on you and stability problems. Anyway, Fulcrum is on its turn. Large laser, LRM tech, and a medium laser. And a crazy ton of speed. That'll do. Are we running advanced? Only advanced. I need Mark II so we can shoot it more often than once. Mm hmm. Systems holding. You're panicking? Why are you panicking? Oh, don't you dare punching out. Oh, that's gonna be so bad. That is gonna be so bad. She is panicking. Uh oh. That is a negative two difficulty to hit this unit because it's just running around, arms waving. Um, that might be enough, guys. Now that we lost the stability, we, she might punch out. Oh my god, I wasn't aware. Holy shit. Uh, okay. Uh, I said we move this turn, right? Yeah, let's go. Getting some stability back. It's a fulcrum that I can shoot in the back, but it doesn't help. Oh boy. Tactically carrier. That's it. That's a good target. And we have a good hit chance. Yeah. I don't want any of these missiles to go for my Atlas. Because that'll be death. Yes, Commander. Okay, okay, okay. What am I doing here? I have no idea. I'll wait. This mech has nothing to shoot yet. Holding for a tactical advantage. Um. Okay, so you are moving over here. Off. What's the status of the lament? Okay. It's alright. Um. I need this vulture to not do anything. Only 20 hydras though. We have a bit of incendiary left. Okay, so that's my hit chance here. It's 30 something. What's it here? It's way better. Okay, I have to go. Let's keep the lament overheated. It's imperative that we get that done as well. I'm out of long range missiles. Are we getting knocked down again? After the arrows coming down? I mean, at the end of the turn, there is something happening. It's not good. Confirm. It might be enough. I need more targets. Let's give it give it to them. Okay, and I should have checked my ammo. I was like, yeah, let's go Hydra here. Okay. I mean, wouldn't be fun if it wasn't a challenge, correct? This is a move turn. I can either shoot Hydras up here or try to go for the Fafni with the BFG. Thunderbolt carrier is also still there. There's another light MML carrier. King Scorpion. Okay, great. And there's Jazz. You cannot really hit Jazz. Mm -mm. That was a mistake early on. But okay. Here we go. More Hydras. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Um, crap. Crap is also just moving, shaking off the stability problems. And... Uh, we might want to go for that. Oh wait, no, we can go for him. This seems good. Let's do that. Put the MML to the bottom. So that we can crack him open and then maybe follow up with some splash damage. It's not much, but it's a start. My armor's in bad oh crap, they still have so much. And this Jazz is very close to our Atlas. I think it's the closest target that it has and our Vulture is probably not absorbing the fire. Okay. There's the Thunderbolt Carrier. 
We just need target diversity now in order to keep our atlas safe. Oh I'm no. Being flanked. Okay. Backstrikes, flanking maneuvers are also very panicking. But so far it's holding. Stay there, Strider. Man, you have so much guts. Coming. That's good. That's very good. Anand is absorbing fire here. So we have 16 and then 15. I think then everybody has moved. Correct? Yeah. So the Fafnir's turn. He's jumping. Okay. And not hitting anything. Yikes. This is the interesting part now. They are going for the Vulture! Yeah! So now we just need to live through the barrage that's coming down. And then I hope we are kind of fine and we can recover and everything is okay again. Turn 40. Oh, we have somebody still. Hey. Yeah, let's go. All an ass. Probably good to overheat that guy. Can we hit the jazz in the back? Not really. Not really. Um. I guess the best idea here is to keep the lament overheated. We can make him shut down. It's gonna be an achievement. Let's do it. Aye, aye. Okay. It's Poet. Sprinting in. So the Light Thunderbolt Carrier is probably my next big target. And I have a lot of Apollo ammo. I think that's what I'm going to be shooting now. Come on, red numbers, yeah, let's go. Thunderbolts down. Vehicle frag. All right. Moment of truth. Oh, we get the knock. No, wait, we don't get the knockdown. Crap. We are turn twenty-one. This guy's turn twenty-four. He might overheat, but this guy is turn twenty-two. Okay, this guy is also turn twenty-two. Can we save her? Somehow. This is save it. Saving private, private Strider here. Wow. Standing by. Uh, I mean, this is only direct fire, so let's go. Hauling ass. It's killable. Uh, but let me check out what else we get. 15 on the Fafnir, 30 on the King Scorpion. What's that thing running again? I think it's an Ultra Auto Cannon 5. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 let's do it. Let's fight it. That was nothing. Overheat. Good. Thank you. Commander. We only have standard and incendiary ammo. That's bad. But the pack leg is killable here. If we are getting lucky. Do we have a better target? I don't think so. No. <laughs> I'm even going Warlord for that. Let's try. So, here comes the peg leg. Incendiaries, standard. No, incendiaries would deal more damage, I believe. Yeah, I do. They should deal five damage each. No, it's still four. Okay. Well, that's the same amount. All right, that guy panicked, <laughs> and the lament shut down, power up detected. and powered up again. Oh boy! But yeah, this is where. Oh wait, actually, uh, maybe. Hello. I got you. Hack leg and his mortar, or this guy and his thumper. Who do we shoot here? Oh, we only got Artemis. Yeah, let's go. We were not able to kill the Hunchback, but we are able to kill this peg leg here. So let's go for that. Oh, I can sense a punch out. 
Is that it? Maybe the Hunchback des uh, decides not to shoot at point-blank range. And I mean, we have this very tasty target up there in the front. By the way, a uh, stray shot with attack against the backliner. Uh-oh. Don't. Just don't, okay? How dare you? Yeah, that's fair. Here's the knockdown. And that's the problem now, because now we have lower initiative. Even if we stay... Commander. She's turned 16. Commander. And he's still panicked. And we have this, and this, and all of the other things here. Which are a problem, honestly. Like a big problem. Oh man, okay, 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 okay. We get this done, guys. We get this done. I'm not freaking out. You are freaking out. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Look, Chromis... It's a target that I would love to kill right now. That's also a target that I would love to kill. And we could. I don't see his initiative, and it is so important to get it down now. If possible. Okay. If we go forward... Are we in line... Yeah, we have... We have our MRMs ready then as well. We will Good sacrifice fun. a bit of hit chance, but we can now alpha strike. I hope it's worth it. Fire. It's not quite, but it's a start. Alright. Man, I have invested a lot, of, a lot of my mechs to the top situation already. I don't know how much follow-up we have, even. This Jazz is probably gonna go for a full alpha strike with all of these missiles there. I cannot allow it. Here comes the Owens. Triggering our AMS. The damage is minor, Commander. Okay, she's panicked still, but not critical. Wow. That's great. Every artillery piece that is not going over to my atlas is good. Good, 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 good. Some more machine guns? We don't care about machine guns. Okay. Ready for orders. Alright. It's working. Cannot get an angle on the jazz, sadly. But I think I'm gonna shoot it with my missiles anyway. It's not much we have there. And it hurts me that I have to do that, because I believe we can actually use these missiles uh, or this shot better or with the BFG on something else. Oh my god, on the thumper? How many people do we have? I believe in us. We're gonna shoot the BFG to the thumper. Roger. Good hit. Very good hit. It's not destroyed, sadly, but it is a start. So many starts, but no follow-ups. Oh, man. Okay. Fafni now. No, King Scorpion. Yeah, it's an Ultra Auto Cannon. Oh, it was against my Atlas. I'm listening. And there's the Thumper. So, this would be the only thing we can do here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's go for that. Destroy that thing. Okay, it did shoot already this round. But, um... Is that the Jazz now? It is. No, it's a Fafnir. Okay. By the way, this Fafnir is jumping around all the time, getting a crazy amount of stability problems. That's good for us. Ready for order. So yeah, here's here's where we go in now. Um, we have the radical heatsink kit flushing. Uh oh. Uh, it it is. Anyway, I don't care. We gotta do it exactly like that. Thirty two though. Can I move forward and get a bit of a better hit chance? And we are just out of the maximum range. So we are shooting at extreme range at any point. So we might as well shoot first and then move afterwards. Guided, guided, guided. And then no Hydras. 
It's gonna be standard ammo. And it has to work now. It did not work. Target's taking a critical hit. Close though. Uh, oh yeah, and then we move. But if I don't move, you cannot shoot me. Position confirmed. Turn 16. Strider. Stand up. You're still here. She is fighting like a boss. I think, guys, without the combat shield, our situation would have been way worse. Uh, funny thing about it here that is that we can still punch people. I should probably disable hot seat, though. Yeah, let's go. Let's go for that. The vulture is the better target here. Let me think real quick. Correct. The vulture is the better target. Let's go for it. On my way. It is currently a little hot, but it did shoot all the time anyway. So we're gonna take it out now. <laughs> nice. Kill. Okay. We need another round where we can go back from panic to unsettled or stressed. They're taking another target. Oh, this is so good. We will bring that home. Okay, turn 25. She is turn 18 still. This is amazing. It's like getting stability damage and then shaking stability damage and then getting stability damage and then shaking stability damage again. Uh, what we need is a better gyro, I think. Although we have a defensive double plus already. Hmm. I also need to check out my Warfare Suite. Maybe we are kind of going with Guardian or Angel ECM or something. So that we have just better regular um, defense in general. But honestly, the biggest problem was artillery. The biggest problem was the, uh, the stability damage that we got from the artillery pieces. And there's no way around that, really. Still panic, though. So yeah, the full chrome is still on the board. It's still thinking about what it wants to do. It's like right here in front of us. And would be very much appreciated if it didn't do anything anymore. For this turn, I have two priorities. First, the Jazz needs to go. These LRMs, although they are very inaccurate, they have to go because they have just a lot of them. And the second priority is the Fafnir, which can be made unsteady and with a bit of follow-up, then knock down and then we're gonna kill that thing before it does anything bad. And then there's also the Lament that needs to stay overheated. I don't care about these other guys so much. This light MML carrier has an ATM. Who cares? And then there's the King Scorpion, which is a bit nasty. But not too much. Right here. Mm -hmm. So, let's see what we can do. The King Crab. King Crab is definitely a, a radical heatsink kit that is just moving right now. Okay. Don't blow up. Here goes. Bit of stability damage, but most of the things, the things that are called artillery, are down. So I'm gonna just spray fire at him, at the Fafnir. Or at the King Scorpion. Yeah, let's go with that, Love. honestly. I need something better. I need something else shooting at this uh, Fafnir here. There Should have gone with a missile mech first. Commander? Um. And go there. You've got my attention. That's probably the Anand. Okay. Mm, so it is. I think it's actually Hydras here. Could also drop some Hydras on the Jazz. But I think I want to prioritize the Fafnir now. So, Hydra plus, let's say, LK. You know what? I'm gonna also do a little bit of EMP. And then Incendiaries here. My goal is to hit him once so that he's getting unsteady because I think he was on his threshold right now. Yeah, I hope he is now. LRMs are out. Okay. Awaiting orders. That brings me to the next mech. It's a minefield on the way as well. Ooh. Roger that. But I have to take it. It's only two mines anyway. Oh, he is not. Not really hittable. 
But he is. We could also try to destroy him. But he's guarded. So it's gonna be incendiaries. That makes sense. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, next up. Next up would be... I'm thinking about this tank up here, the Thumper tank, but I think it's fine-ish. We have two artillery guys. One is up here, one is up here. Now we sprint forward. On my way. Double time. This is where we hit the Jazz. With 40 missiles. Yeah, let's go. Not quite. No. Oh, that's tragic. Cool, the Hunchback didn't even shoot his artillery. That's great. Now, next up is my geezer. Dude, how good are you with your... with your thing? That's direct line of sight to the Jazz, then. If I, if I want to destroy the Thumper now... And I have to kind of bank on the fact that we kill the jazz later. Double time. Let's go. I I just hope. I just hope for it. Okay. <laughs> There's that. Great. Only machine guns. I have the feeling that next round we're gonna be recovering. Okay, that's a very interesting go. jump here. The problem that I'm seeing right now is that we don't have any line of sight, but he is actually unsteady. Okay, 25% on the BF freaking G. But that's a kill. I'll take that. Yeah, it's way better. Orders? So the Thumper is killable with direct fire. This guy needs a little more than that. So I'll berserk here. And I'm gonna try to destroy the Hunchback now. So 573 damage. I am so happy that I got this combat shield, guys. It really helped me out. It really kept my mech and the pilot alive. Otherwise we would have been destroyed ages ago. What we now could also take is um, hardened armor. Dropping the spiked armor, maybe? I don't know. Now we see what he has. He has two LB20s, he has rocket packs and three light PPCs. But here's the thing, he is not moving. Ah, oh, the stray shots. Yeah, of course. Um, he was not moving. Uh, which means we have a pretty good hit chance on him now. We should. Acid, 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 acid. Hydra, Hydra, Hydra. Hydra. Sensor lock. Let's go with sensor lock. I think this is the next thing that we're gonna do now. Sensor's locked on. And we might be able to make him unsteady once more. Alright, here we go. You're not the only guys who have artillery. That should give him a good chunk of heat there. We cannot see how much it is, but I will keep pushing, I will keep moving, giving us entrenched as well as two evasion here. I always read infernal repair systems. Oh, turn 17 is not good for our Krebo. Strider is now only stressed, that's good. Who has turn 30 though? I mean, the light mech, sure, she owns. Makes sense. But who else? The Lament, who is still not overheating. Confirm. Okay. I... Wait a second. I want to make another... I'm there. ...shot happen against the Thumper. I'm on him. And that's a kill, right? 
Oh, we are slowly easing a bit, guys. This is... We have it under control. We have one light mech that I don't care about. We have the Lament overheated. We also have him stressed. Then there is the Fafnir, which is also overheated and at the brink of instability. A light MML carrier that I don't care about. And then there is the Fulcrum that is also there. Yes. That is good. It is a shame that missions like these give you all the good toys in, like, one mission where you only have two salvage. That's not cool. It's Fulcrum turn, by the way. You can tell, because it's taking a while to make its decision. Which then means that we can act in turn 23. Let me see, who's there? Poet and Punisher. So we have our Anand and we have the Conquistador. Yeah! They're gonna either overheat... And or knock them down, and then we're gonna follow up with the BFG to the head of the Fafnir. Yes, Commander. That's how we do it. How much does the Lament have, though? Uh, Talk to me. Interesting. Roger. Okay, first things first. That is a very good hit chance. We go at EMP. Full EMP, full incendiary here. I think I'm gonna take the Fafnir as my prize in the end. Very nice. So he's unsteady, and we have a head hit. It's good. Aye, aye. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll do it. On my way. Double time. I'm gonna go with Incendiaries in once more. Only 40 heat. Did we only have 40 the missiles left? Oh, I should have shot Acid as well. Good to go. But that's okay. That's absolutely okay. So five Incendiaries. It's not much. So we're gonna shoot standard. Yeah, yeah, let's go for it. I try to go for the knockdown here. Oh, we didn't get it. Oh, he's entrenched. Oh, no. What's up, boss? Okay. Fair enough. So, we're gonna shoot some indirect stuff at this dude now. Also, more Hydra, so we're gonna keep him overheated. Next round, we're gonna... Never mind, we don't kill, because we have that thing completely. Roger that. Right. Receiving you. So, this is Adrenaline with the BFG, but I think... I want Gremlin first, so that we get the chance to knock the Fafnir down. Oh wait, no, we can just wait for the Fafnir to do its thing. Fine. It's overheating, right? Oh, that's nasty. Oh, through armor crits. Not cool, man, not cool. Cannot do anything against the Proto Double Heatsink kit, sadly. It's just there. Moving. I mean, I could stop shooting. That's the thing. Confirm. Yeah. There's the knockdown. It's what I wanted. And here's the thing. We either hit his head now, or Standard we just eyes. destroy that thing. And that's okay. Both of the results are absolutely okay for me. Man, I have no idea how we actually survived that. We were actually recovering from the stress as well. And now the retaliation begins. It's actually continuing. It already began. Like, turns and turns ago. Uh, yeah, here, BFG, let's do it. Bop, 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 disable everything, go for the head. Did we deal 900 damage there with all of the acid? Also, how did we kill? Was it the cockpit? Holy shenanigans. Aye, aye. <laughs> okay. That was crazy. All we have to do now is destroy two tanks. And then we can go home. And I have the feeling that the fulcrum is gonna get closer. Because it has no real good hit chance up there. So, and, and running away is probably not an option. Because it would lower his hit chance even more. And that's a thing that this tank hopefully doesn't want. Oh, man. Come on, Fulcrum, do your thing. 
And then there's this puny little light MML carrier with 40, oh, 40 armor all around. And in the back only 24 and 20 structure. It's a very light tank. It's a scout tank. That's good. The fulcrum didn't move that much. You We're gonna hit him now. Standing by. So you only have one target. Because you only have direct fire. So let's go for it. Bam. Got him. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Great. No short range missiles remaining. That is okay. Um sure, let's move forward. Affirmative. Um EMP, LK. I think it's L oh god, we have only five LK, so it's gonna be EMP, which deals no damage, really. Ah uh, okay. Let's start. LRMs are out. I mean, it's just us trying to get as much damage as possible now. That's actually good. We have line of sight and Artemis. Ah, no range though. But hey, we can sensor lock this dude. That might give him a little bit of trouble with his evasion. I don't know. Couldn't see. I do hope we kill this guy today. Oh, wait. Oh, BFG. Oh, BFG. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, we're gonna warlord that up. So this deals 385. And we hit him. Boom! This BFG has been proven so valuable. I love that thing. I'm so happy that I picked it up. Guys, BFG. Take it. It's good. It's a real good and, 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 and early... It's a real good early railgun item. It's perfect. The minimum distance is a problem. Because uh, most of the time you have your, your, your sight distance and then there's also the minimum distance which is almost the sight distance that you really want to shoot on sight so that you maximize the hit chance. So it's a bit of a juggle, but here we go. Let's go and salvage. We earned that. We earned that so much. Uh, but yeah, look at that. BFG killed the most tanks. This mech, the Atlas, killed the most mechs. You all did well though. All of you. What do we take, though? Do we need that Fafnir? I mean, what, what do we really need? And what is this quirk? It could have a real cool quirk or some built-in items that I don't know of. Oh, it has mechanical jump jets. Oh, it has the mechanical... Wait, it has the mechanical jump jets. Oh, by the way, I want to quickly point out. One, two, three, four, five parts. We crushed that cockpit with 900 damage. Right? 900 BFG damage. That, that pilot in there got vaporized. But I see mechanical, or I read mechanical jump jets here. So I'm going to scroll down and I ignore everything. Absolutely everything. And I want to see what we can get here in terms of mechanical jump jets. By the way, these long tops are valuable. Very valuable. Uh, mortar, MMLs, sniper, thumper, tag arrow, eagle, armor. Come on, 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 come on. A bunch of fusion cores, 340, XLs, exchangers, XL gyro, clan heatsink kit. Boom, baby! Yeah! Oh my god, BFG on wings, that's what we're gonna be doing. I don't know, maybe not, maybe we do something else, uh, but that here, my friends, is so good. How do mechanical jump jets work? We get, um, it's a 10, right? Yeah, it's a 10. Uh, we get 10 jump capacity, um, negative accuracy for death from above, and then negative damage for it. So these are spring-loaded jump jets, like spring-loaded legs. Um, but the the, the, the the tonnage of this item scales with the tonnage of the mech, which means the bigger the mech is, the more they take up in terms of weight, and they take away the weight from the mech. So they weigh 20 tons in an assault mech, in a 100 ton assault mech. But they are so worth it, because you get 10 jump capacity without even building up that much heat, and um, it's actually zero heat, because they're mechanical. And um, you get a crazy amount of evasion out of them. 
I am so happy right now. It was so, so worth it. And I think I'll take a long term for money. Is there anything else that you saw that I need? I could take one of the Fafnir parts, though. And then start building the Fafnir to get a secondary uh, set of these mechanical jump jets. The long term would be money. And I know, I know what I'm going to be doing. I know. Um, I'm about to build that that Kraken. That is going to have two rotary autocannon tents, nothing else, and these jump jets. That is it. That is how we play that. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> that is how we do it. And for that, we need the money. So we're going to take the long term. It's fine. I think it's the most valuable part that we can take. And maybe I... I, I, I missed something here that you might have seen that is more valuable than this long-term cannon. Maybe a stack of fusion cores or whatever. If you did, leave a comment down below. Make fun of me that I'm blind. Fuel cell engine. No. This is fine. I'm gonna take it. I don't care. This is my salvage. Alright. So long-term can go. Bam. It's half a million. These diverse optics are actually quite good. Indirect fire control system, sure, we keep it. Uh, proto double heat sinks, super good. Mechanical jump jets, here we go, guys. Next time we see each other, we're gonna build a king crab, a flying king crab, with two rotary autocannon tents, and it's gonna be glorious, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.